Hello and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Nancy and this is Teddy Bear, our miniature horse. He, we call him Teddy for short. And he is still a yearling. He'll be two in April. And if you're new to my channel, this is the, my channel is devoted to our raising of this mini. We got him when he was four months old. And right now we are working on foundational things and the beginnings of training him for driving. Miniature horses make great driving horses and so we are doing a lot of preliminary things before he will pull weight. He will not pull full weight till he's three, so he has a ways to go. But I am doing a lot of ground driving. Every day that it doesn't rain, I take him out ground driving. And don't be panicked if you see him loose walking around with a halter, pulling a lead. I do this with him quite often when I'm working outside. I leave him loose with me and he really enjoys this time. So, I am anxious to show you what we've accomplished this week. And if you missed my earlier videos, if you check back, um, there's a few, I think this is the fourth now, the fourth video on my ground driving with Teddy. And you can see how much he has progressed from week to week. He is doing absolutely great. He's getting lighter and lighter on the bit. And he seems to really enjoy it. And I think part of it is because I take him out on a trail and we don't just do a whole lot of stuff in the ring. Anyway, Without more talking, let me get to those video, the video. I have like a couple clips. Um, let me get to those videos. Teddy, walk. I'm gonna go see a pond, Teddy. See if there's any fish in the pond today. Okay. Yeah, go we'll see if there's any fish in the pond. I to stop. Teddy, whoa. And again, I'm not pulling back on these lines at all. Now I'm relaxing, walk. I want Teddy to just notice a slight shift on the bit. I don't want him to feel any real sharp pressure of any kind. And uh, I think I'm gonna go straight down this little hill and curve around coming in from the right side is what I'm gonna do. Good boy, Teddy. Yeah, you're getting to like this. Yeah, let's try another stop. Teddy, whoa. Teddy, walk. Again, no pulling back on the lines or the reins. I'm trying not to pull back at all. I'm gonna do a gentle turn to the left. I'm just jiggling my left ring finger a little bit on the rein so he senses and I'm trying to turn a little. Now I'm jiggling the right. There. Now we're going to turn and go down a little hill. Don't know how he's going to react to this. Come Teddy. It's all right. Walk up. There's the pond and there's the boat. Let's see how he does. Let's go. Walk up. Good boy Teddy. Nothing to be afraid of. Just keep walking. Let's keep walking. You want to sniff it? Go ahead, take a sniff. Take a bite out of it. No, don't do that. It's not ours. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> there we go. There's the pond. Good boy, Teddy. I'm going to go up this little hill. Walk up. Good job, Teddy. And I think I'm going to come around and go at enter that from the other side. It's always good to do things from two sides with the work no. And that we grass. No. Good boy. Come on. Good boy, Teddy. Let's see if we can go in from this side. Alright. I think we're gonna get down a little further here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go through here. Come around in this direction. What? Yeah, let's see if he'll curve around this way. Walk up. Easy. The hill, Teddy. There's the hill. Easy does it. Easy does it. What a good boy! Yeah, and there's that monster boat. There's that monster boat. Remember that? You remember that? Yeah, still there. Still hasn't moved and chased you yet. You don't have to worry about the boat monster coming after you. Good job. Let's go this way. 
see what we're going to find up here. Yeah. Let's see what we're going to find. Walk up. It goes up and down. Let's try a stop. Teddy. Whoa. Stamp. What do you hear, Teddy? What do you hear? No turkeys in the woods right now. Yeah, we saw turkeys the other day. Teddy, walk. Good boy. And sometimes you'll hear me sit, make a sound that goes up, 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 up. That is what I'm teaching Teddy when he's walking and I want him to pick up the pace with his walking. I'm trying to establish certain sounds. Walk is just a hop up like that. And when I want him to trot, I'm gonna be clucking, which we haven't really started working on yet. And of course, cantering, I usually kiss when I ride my horse. Let's go here, what's this here? Looks like there's too many branches. So let's see if we can back up one step. Teddy, back, 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 and turn, come. And let's go back now. We did such a good job. Walk up. Well, what's that about? I didn't tell you to stop. Teddy, walk. Teddy, walk. Pay attention, walk. Walk, Teddy. Walk. Don't know why he did that, but he knows. As long as he does what I tell him, maybe he wanted to think about something for a minute. Good boy. Now, when you ride horses, sometimes I'll go a little bit faster going up a hill. But I won't, don't necessarily at this point want Teddy used to just going faster up a hill. I want him to continue his typical pace. Keep it nice and even. Walk. Up, up. Walk a little faster. Hop, hop, hop. That's it, boy, Teddy. Come on. Hop, 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 hop. Come on. You're younger than I am. Get up the hill. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, let's see what you'll do if we go all the way up here through some little bit narrower trees. See how you do with that. I'm hoping to get a different head stall that has no blinkers because I want to get him used to ground driving and eventually pulling a cart with blinkers and without blinkers. I've been advised by a friend of mine who is a trainer, has trained minis and ponies to drive, that it's really good for the minis and pony, whatever equine you're training. They need to know there's something behind them. He knows there's something behind them, but I want him to be used to driving both ways. Uh, primar primarily, I will probably use blinkers, but I want him to be able to drive without them just in case something were to happen. And it's just a good thing. I want him to understand that there is something going behind him. And now we're going to go up to this little bit more trees here. See if we can, how much we can get through here. I think we're going to have to go a little bit left here. Walk up. Keep watch your face. No branches. Come around here. Walk up. Good job, Teddy. Good job. And of course, this is a big branch over. We're going to curve around. He's already, I'm just barely putting pressure on my ring finger with my left hand, and he's turning already. He's learning very quickly. And again, I'm what I'm doing, I'm teaching him to back. I'm just going to give a little pressure. Teddy, back. Good boy. And immediately, that was really good. I'm just putting pressure on the bit. And as soon as he takes, makes the effort to take a step backwards, I'm immediately releasing the pressure on the reins. And eventually he'll, have, he'll go back further and further. But I want him to be, again, really, respon really responsive to the bit. I'm gonna turn right here. I'm gonna put just a little jiggle of my right ring finger. I'm barely jiggling it. It's amazing. I'm just barely touching the rein. And I'm going to try something, see how he'll do. I'm going to ask him for just a very short little trot, see how he does. He, I know you can't run a whole lot, so we're just going to run a short, just jog slowly for a few feet, okay? Teddy, chop, 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 Okay, we're going to head up for, toward the pitching spot. Come. Go we'll say hello to Susie and Salem. You're doing such a good job, Teddy. Maybe next week 
I'm going to try making, putting a big black tarp down with a lot of water in it, see if we'll cross over the water. That will be maybe for next week. But right now he's just doing so well. Boy, do I need to wear sunglasses when I do this. It wasn't this sunny when I first came out here today. There we go. Come up by your buddies. Walk up. Good job. Go to this way. around this one tree. Come. And now Teddy's reward for doing such a good job. I brought him out here. There's some grass here and there. Thought he would enjoy some grass. And of course I'm with him. He's on a short lead and a halter or loose out here, but I am right close by. And uh, I'm just really pleased with how he's moving along with his training. I hope you're enjoying these videos and learning a little bit about how much fun you can have with miniature horses. If you'd like to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. And I always enjoy um, hearing from you. If you have any comments or questions or experiences driving any kind of horse, I'd love to hear it. And I will see you at our next update. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.